Hello and welcome to my kitchen at home. Now breakfast is one of my favourite meals of the day, it's also the most important. And I don't always eat cake for breakfast, contrary to popular belief, I often eat granola. So I thought I'd give you my recipe because it is so easy, you're never going to need to go to the shops for granola again. And also, granola in the shops is very expensive and quite often you don't really know what's in it. This way you're going to know exactly what's in your granola. And I'm going to give you two recipes, one for a kind of regular one and the other one for a lower sugar, slightly healthier version. The base for my granola is oats, and I've got 400 grams of regular rolled oats or porridge oats in my bowl. And my rule of thumb when making granola is you can use whatever seeds and nuts you want, as long as it adds up to a roughly the same amount that you've got of oats. So I'm gonna start by putting 100 grams of pumpkin seeds into my oats, along with 100 grams of sunflower seeds, 50 grams of sesame seeds, and 50 grams of lovely flaked coconut. I'm also going to add 125 grams of almonds. Now I've got whole almonds here with their skins on. I'm just going to roughly chop them. And give that all a really good stir. Now that is looking a little bit dry and boring right now, but things are going to get a bit more exciting shortly. I'm going to put that to one side, grab a saucepan and put 125 millilitres of sunflower oil in it. And I'm adding to that 250 millilitres of honey. That's about 340 grams. Now obviously that is quite a lot of honey, but this is gonna make about eight or 10 portions of granola, so it's not too bad. <laughs> I'm also gonna add 50 grams of brown sugar, 125 millilitres of water, and then for a bit of flavour, I've got about an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm also going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to put that onto a medium heat and wait until it comes to almost boiling point. It is looking foamy and it's almost come to the boil, so it is time to add it to my dry mixture. And it's simply a case of pouring it on and stirring it around. Now stir it really thoroughly so you make sure all the bits and bobs are really covered in this sticky, yummy, wet mixture. It smells amazing. And now it's time to bake it. There's quite a lot in here, so I like to split this up into two baking trays, so just evenly distribute it. Now spread it out nice and evenly all over the tray and it doesn't want to be too thick because otherwise the heat's not going to get to the whole lot which is why I split it into two. And this needs to bake for quite a long time, starting at 140 degrees. So I've already got my oven preset and I'm going to bake this lot for an hour. After an hour at 140, it's already starting to go a nice golden colour, but you're going to need to toss it about a bit just to break up the clumps and also to make sure it cooks nice and evenly. And once it's had a good old mix about, you need to put it back in the oven, but this time at 120 degrees C for another hour. Once they've had an hour, you can leave those to cool down completely. Now for my second version of granola, I'm not going to label this as healthy because it still has agave, which is quite high in fructose, and it's not like super duper healthy, but I am going to use apple juice to sweeten it as well, and I'm going to use coconut oil as, instead of sunflower oil. I'm starting with 300 grams of porridge oats. I'm going to add 100 grams of chopped almonds, 120 grams of pumpkin seeds, 30 grams of sesame seeds, 50 grams of cacao nibs for a bit of extra sweetener and 30 grams of linseeds and give it a good old stir. And set that to one side while you get your wet ingredients together and I'm going to start with four tablespoons of coconut oil, 125 millilitres of apple juice, 
and 75 grams of agave syrup. And then do the same thing, just bring that almost to the boil. And now just like the other one, pour it all over and stir it all about. And this one's slightly different. I bake this at 150 degrees C for 40 to 45 minutes. So it takes a lot less time than the other one. And it's not quite as clumpy because of the lack of sugar, but it is so delicious. Again, I'm gonna split this between two baking sheets and spread it all out. And once it's all spread out, you can get them in the oven. So bake that granola for 40 to 45 minutes, give it a stir every 15 minutes just to break the nuggets up and make sure it's nice and even. And then once it's had its 45 minutes, just turn the oven off and leave it to cool in there and that will make it nice and crisp. And that is my two granola recipes done. And to store them, you just keep them in airtight containers in a cool, dry place. Make sure they don't get moist, because otherwise they'll go bad. And these will keep for a few weeks, but you'll probably eat them before that. And I'm going to enjoy mine with a bit of natural yogurt and some fresh fruit. Mmm. As you can see, or hear, it's pretty crunchy, which is perfect. I love a crunchy granola. And I think you'll agree, that was so easy. Anyone could do that, and I hope you do. And please let me know how you get on doing that in the comments box below, and hashtag Cupcake Gem if you take a picture, and put it on Instagram. And please subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face. I'll see you next week for another recipe. Bye. So loud. <laughs>